This is a short student guide to the identification of Picea sitchensis. The grey bark of this species is actually quite considerably more scaly than Picea abies at a younger age and becomes quite thick plated. Young trees are relatively well furnished with foliage. Notice the discernible worlds of growth that can be seen for it representing each year's again in height and width. And that excurrent growth typically persists into the mature plantation tree. Um, do remember that the vast majority of plantations of conifers in the UK consist at least 60-70% of this one species, particularly on the western side of Britain. The male flowers are large pollen cones that hang down normally from near to the tip ends of some lateral branches. Um, they start as red buds, um, as can be seen here, and expand out to long, tapering, creamy uh, pollen cones, typically of 25 to 30 millimetres in length on vigorous trees. So quite noticeable. And here the female flowers flush slightly with red, relatively small compared with Picea abies, um, but often born in large numbers. And here in this photo you can see the two stages of the development of the cone from light green through to a dried and sort of golden brown colour. These are relatively short and papery and soft to the touch. On vigorous shoots of Sitka spruce you will get a very blue-grey steely appearance to the needles um, which are actually very prickly to the touch, much more prickly than uh, Picea abies and they basically form a bottle brush, a rounded um, shape around the twig. And here we have a close-up of a young new shoot. You can see the relatively straight and spiny needles circling around the twig and the twig very light green, lime green in colour. Here a close-up of the pulvenai. As a Picea it will form a woody pegs as its attachment to each needle and here you can see the relatively pale shoot and the woody pegs leading to the base of each needle. These woody pe pegs persist when the needles are shed by the tree. And the winter buds, I've had to remove one or two needles so you can get sight of these. The winter buds are uh, paper brown, tan coloured, uh, relatively small, typically three at the end of a lateral shoot.